What is going on, guys? This is Eric Johnson. And Kevin Raymond to get. Yes. And this time, as always, be Ricky Rice and two cool Scorpios started off. As I forgot to put it in the fucking, what's it called? That's okay. <laughs> we keep bouncing between Colorado and Texas. It happens. Ricky Rice and two cool Scorpio do not click. Scorpio wins by pinfall. 1137. Ricky Rice improves with flying, and they don't click, so. But the show got to throw off to a... The show got the well, got a strong start. The match... Got the hotter. The show well, got matters. the match off to a strong start, and the, sh the show got the crowd hotter, you know? Right. I have dyslexia. <laughs> oh, was, God. That was not that good of a promo. Thought it'd be better, but oh, well. Oh, good match. He did good in ring. That's all that matters. Bob Hawley improved in two things. That double arm DDT finisher by Cactus Jack. Good job. Chris Benoit and uh, Eddie Guerrero. But they both drew following a double count out. Booking decisions. Fuck you just posted it. There you go. Sid Vicious and Brian Addis had fantastic heat and good wrestling. Uh, Brian Addis defeated Sid Vicious in 27-53 by pinfall of the Russian leg sweep. <laughs> is now your world's heavyweight champion. And Sid Vicious is pissed. I think those last two ratings will save this show. There you go. Beautiful. All right, Sid. Good sport for losing the title. Let's compliment two cool. By the way, we are having now. We now have simmering tension with two cool Scorpio. So we're gonna try to make this better. Was pleased. Seem please. Seem please. I'm hoping maybe we can make this better. With two Cole Scorpio. You know what? You're just going to keep on getting booked. <laughs> You're a dick. He's going to be the next one that uh, hands in a notice. Oh, well, we'll replace him. We already did, technically. So, Brian Addius is a new champ. Still hasn't moved an inch. Well, it's not the end of the month yet, so... Simming to the end of the month as we now have... I'm enjoying this series. I know you guys haven't had a chance to make any comments on this series so far because we were just recording after... Me and Eric Johnson are just really enjoying this database. Yeah, I, I, what makes me enjoy is the narratives. That's, what, that's the fun part. There's all the narratives in it. And plus, it's a mod we've never done before, the late 80s going into the 90s. So we're, we're going to be part of the wrestling change yeah. from the 80s traditional style to the 90s, more sports entertainment. Well, attitude entertainment, I should say. But you know my point. We're going to be having to book around yeah. going into the attitude era. Whether we'll be up there with WCW and WWF, if they both still make it up there, or if we are the company going to war with both of them, or one of them, it should be interesting to see. And Sid has half the brain that you do. That's right. All right, remember, he got, has to have a rematch at this next event, so. Yeah. Boo. 
Fuck that guy. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, Eric, he might sue us. Don't say that. <laughs> Are you serious? He'll actually sue you for talking shit? Dude, Jim Cornette has been on a tirade. Like, just going after everybody, more so now that... Call Joey Janela a worthless piece of shit on Twitter. Oh, did you see the social distancing match? No, I did not. Yep, yep there, there we go. go. Oh. So don't be a dick, and we won't have to get rid of you. Watch, Ben Wall be the next one to start a problem. We need a locker room leader. Find us a cheap locker room leader to fix uh, this shit. Locker room leaders ain't cheap. I'm just going to be honest. I know. What a but it's something. There. So that's the second person that has walked out on us. It's like, oh, well, you can't be successful without you know cracking a few you eggs. You know what it is? Maybe I'm the problem. I think it's your piss poor leadership skill. So when you do run 100 shows, we're going to put it towards leadership? Yeah. Just tell me how many shows I've ran. No, it's just a... Uh... No. We've only run... Let's think. We're in June. We've only run about six. Five. Oh, five. Five. There you go. Okay. So it's going to be a long, long time, buddy. We're going to be dealing with a lot of assholes. Oh, look. The prestige went back up. Good. Okay, so first it was Sid Vicious, very first week in the database, February 1988, first champ, all the way to June 1988. Now I'm thinking we go with the tradition of having him champion for like a year or something. I could not hear that. What do you want? I said, maybe we can have him, like, you know, stay with the tradition in the 80s. Have him no, it keeps cutting out as soon as you're trying to tell me the gist of what you're saying. So just lead off. Just tell me exactly without all the other words. Should make him a champ for a year and a half. Okay. Somewhere around. I think that could work. We just got to keep pushing him. We need him to have promo time. We need him to have good matches. You know what I mean? Trying to make him the cornerstone. Yeah. Maybe we can make a minor title for Eddie Guerrero since we're, we keep making profits. I think we can do that. Yeah. I mean, still, it, it would fit into the three match criteria. The tag team titles should come third because that's just more people to pay. So at least a minor title, it's like major title, minor title, random throwaway by, match. I'm thinking by 1990, we integrate a women's division. Did you say 89? 1990. Ah, uh, what? Tag titles, 1990? Women's division. There you go. That's the goal, but it could be pushed. Or it could come sooner. Yeah. It could come sooner, depending on how successful we are. Oh, don't forget, we did sign that woman as our uh, authority figure now, too. Uh, we can, we, she can introduce herself the next show. Deuce the thing. It's like who she is real quick and then what belt she has for her first acting thing. And then eventually Taz will come back. Oh, God. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, we don't want him talking because he's a New Yorker. He'll come back and win the damn thing. That, that fucking... Uh... That New York accent's the last thing you want to hear coming out of that Tasmaniac. Now listen here, girl, babe. Okay? I'm from New York. I want the world title. Watch her not get a good reception at all <laughs> as the authority figure. Hi, people. Boo. <laughs> when you're on Glow, you suck. You're my least favorite person. You were a oh, bitch! He's a hardcore baby face from that promotion, so... Uh, yeah. Um, we're getting demonetized right then and there. We're not even monetized. Oh, wait, we're not monetized, so... <laughs> but seriously? Oh, yeah, seriously. Nazi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he was... What the... F what the fuck, Mexico? What the fuck? Wait a minute. Oh, he did color commentary for the Minnesota North Stars. And he does pro wrestling, too. Also appeared on Pressure Lock. I'm going to have to try to find that episode. <laughs> well, not right now. We don't need him. 
No, I'm still going to have to try to find that episode. Ah. Uh, uh, I have it on Amazon. I have Amazon Prime. Oh, we're in week one of July. Here we go. How much money do you think we have? Uh, Half the year awards. 7500 Wrestler of the year so far. Company of the year, New Japan. Makes it's not going to be us. A lot of New Japan. More New Japan. More New Japan. Did two cool talk shit on us at all? I wonder. Who? No, probably, probably not. All right, let's see what that uh thing is. They're all Jap. Everything is Japanese except for this guy. If he's indie wrestler of the year. That's gotta be pretty good. No, no. He hasn't wrestled anything, probably. Oh, I get it. If you're unemployed, you're an indie wrestler. Uh ah. Okay. Can we see what that mail is? Who? Oh, the mail. Eight. Nothing interesting. Oh. <laughs> how are they able to get him? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was about to say, how the fuck? <laughs> what? That's bullshit. Yeah, I don't know how are we too small, but... <laughs> You'll go to them. This right here? Yeah, that's fine. Fucking dick. All right, how much money we got now? Ooh, we lost money. Why? I mean, 17 bucks. Oh, my God. Yeah. I know, but what was the deal here? I don't know. That's okay. Uh, we're spending more money in workers now. We had our best show yet. It's because we're spending more on workers. That's what's going on there. Now what? Oh. We didn't. Yeah, you knew that one though. All right, so let's uh let's make our next show, Eric, so they can see it in the next episode. Yes. Please know that in order to. Well, Alexa, stop mm -hmm. listening. Stop. Stop. <laughs> do, 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 do. Dude, this thing fucking listens to me randomly. Like, it, just, it turned on without saying her name. It's weird. Sid's an upper mid again. Eric, you don't have a next show, so hitting that would be... No problem with the, uh, their smart speaker doing that. Just Ooh, that sounds cool. Masters of War. Hey, we can do Wednesdays now. <laughs> you can do a Sunday if you really wanted to, but that'd be stupid. I wonder if you're, as a local company, Eric, you should try to click on broadcast or see if anything pops up. I doubt it. It won't. It won't, but it'd be funny. No. What are some of the small broadcasters, anyway? In America. He was a Can't you look at small? Uh, like tiny to small? There's very small. America won. AWA is on there. Yeah, we're not getting that if the AWA is on it. We like access. Like PBS is still crazy for us. Yeah, like US syndication would be the best thing. We can't even get on Telemundo. Wait, does that say the Playboy channel? That's what we want right there, but there's too many. The Playboy channel. Ooh. Can we be on the Playboy channel? Really against wrestling. Yeah, it's the Playboy channel. I wonder what they want. Oh, highly pro. They want too many weird things with their... Nah, Tri-State. There we go. Of course. Well, let's keep putting on shows. That's all we can do. Dude, every single one that covers mid Can we get on Telemundo <laughs> at some point? I didn't even know Telemundo's around in 88. No, that's too much for us. I knew HBO was. 
Yes. Well, let's just keep putting on shows, and eventually we'll be able to get on TV. I say we only sign small How contracts. How existed? Of course, all the small channels are taken up by assholes. Well, eventually someone will want to negotiate with us, but until then, let's just worry about getting... Let's worry about getting fucking paid. That guy's mustache does not belong on his face. No. It doesn't look right. Scott Armstrong. What's a family? I guarantee he's going to... Scott Armstrong is a member of the famous Armstrong family. Yeah, his brother was a wrestler as well. Black Bart. Where's White Bart? Or red. All right, so we got it. We got it. Oh, Eric, don't forget before the show, make the minor. T- I don't know. I'm sure. I don't think we're still making enough money yet. Eric, that. just just have one of the three matches that we put on be for the minor. It's not an expenditure on a title belt, is it? Sometimes we do four matches though. I mean, if you don't want to do it, then let's not do it. But if you want to not do yet. it, I mean... Not yet. Okay. Not yet. We're going to hold off. Right, but we'll see you guys in the next episode for You're Masters of War. Time. For war, 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 war. war. war.